elements and the atoms so basically this is the basic chemistry the single element is defined as by symbol okay so in every uh, report or every book in every mostly books this is defined as symbol so yesterday we studied about that and atoms atoms is the smallest unit of each element in atom we have sub units what are proton neutron and electron proton is positive neutron is neutral and electron is negative proton and neutron are present on the nucleus here is explaining that and uh, neutron uh, sorry electron is present in axis or orbit orbit of the nucleus okay so depending upon the electrons we define the energy level of the element okay and uh, the how many number of protons are defined as atomic number of the element okay how many uh, weight and uh, mass of the proton and neutron is combined and tell the atomic weight of an element so these are the things we discussed in yesterday class and as well as the bonding is also depend upon mostly in electron so the electron decides whether the bonding is perfectible or imperfectible okay so we will talk about the bonding we have four types of bonding that is chemical bond ionic bond and covalent bond third and fourth one is disulfide and hydrogen bonds so we will talk about each and everything in detail okay so first of all we will start with chemical bonds a chemical bond is not, not a structure but rather than force or attraction between positive and negative electrical charges that keeps two or more atoms closely associated with each other to form a molecule by way of comparison think of gravity we know that gravity is not a thing but rather than the force that keeps our feet on the floor and allow us to pour pour coffee with consistent success molecules formed by chemical bond bonding often have physical characteristics different from those of the atoms of the original elements for example the elements hydrogen oxygen are gases but atoms of each may chemically bond to form molecules of water which is liquid the type of chemical bonding depend upon the tendency of the electrons of atoms involved as you will see four kinds of bonds are very important to the chemistry of the body ionic bond covalent bond disulfide bond and hydrogen bond so basically chemical bonding basically every bonding is depend upon the electrons and protons of an each element okay so whatever may be the element if they are capable to allow and they are capable for closely association so the bonds will happen okay like one example is given here that our earth have gravitational force gf gravitational force so this is the force which will not able to seen with our naked eye but earth have this force it is force us to keep stand on the ground level if we want to wake up our leg or anything we need force opposite force we have we need opposite force to lift anything from the ground level okay so this is the bonding of anything with earth okay it is keep close with earth okay because it have force so likewise if two elements want to bond to each other so they need positive and negative protons or electrons to combine with each other okay so depending upon this force the bonding is divided into four types ionic bond covalent bond 
disulfide bond and hydrogen bond now we will talk about ionic bond ionic bond involves the loss of one or more electrons by one atom and gain of electrons by another atom as you read the following so in ionic bond what will happen if there are two elements okay number element number 1 and element number 2 okay so example here we have six atoms here we have five atoms okay so means here one atom is taken by another element okay loss of one atom from one element and gain of one atom from the another element makes bond each other so these types of bonding is known as ionic bond okay so this if this happens in any type of bonding so that's it is known as ionic bond here one example is given we will talk about that example that is an atom of sodium has one electron in its outer shell modes in order to become stable it tends to lose the electron when it does so, so sodium atom has one more proton that it has electrons therefore it ha now has electrical charge of plus 1 and it is called sodium ion an atom of chlorine has seven electrons in its outer mode shell in order to become stable tends to gain one electron when it does so the chloride atom has one more electron than it has proton now has charge of minus 1 it is chlorine chloride ion cl minus here one example is given that is sodium sodium is an element if we want to describe ionic level okay it have one electron in in outer mode shell here is given that one electron okay i will draw a diagram here sorry here one electron is sodium okay in outer mode in order uh, outer mode shell in order to become stable in tendens to lose that electron so in it have one electron okay in outer mode shell this is nucleus this is axis in axis it have one electron hmm? it has one electron that is negative charge okay so it want to become stable it have to lose that electron okay when it does so the sodium atom has one more proton than it is has electron therefore it now has an electrical charge of plus 1 means the sodium have one proton and one electron okay so if he loses one electron from its shell then only plus 1 is remained only proton is remained so that's the reason we will write an a plus because one electron is there in its nucleus okay same example is given here for another element that is chloride chloride have seven electrons gain one electron then it does so the chlorine atom has one more electron than it has protons now has charge of minus 1 basically if he want to become a negative charge then he needs one electron who needs chloride so chloride needs one electron so he he gain one electron who gain one electron chloride gain one electron okay one negative charge so already there is seven electrons and seven protons so that's the reason it is stable so it he is gaining seven negative electrons negative electrons so that's the reason it have highest most 
electrons so that the reason we will write negative charge in the chloride okay understood so ionic bonding is mostly it will lose or gain of electrons or protons okay next we will talk about another thing here when an atom of sodium does an electron to an atom of chlorine that ions have unlike charges positive and a negative and those attract to one another the result is the formation of molecule of sodium chloride so here are common stable salt the bond that holds this ion together is called ionic bond so they lose a uh, sodium is loses one electron chloride again one electron so this will make sodium plus chloride this minus make them to bond together bond together and it will make one salt called common table salt sodium chloride okay put a sodium will release one electron chloride will gain one electron they this thing will make them bonding to each other then they become blood uh, sorry uh, bond together and become common table salt so this is one good example of ionic bond so i hope you understand about ionic bond okay here given number of examples you can uh, you can able to study or i will explain that okay no problem another example is the bonding of chloride to calcium an atom of calcium has two electrons in its outermost shell and tend to lose those electrons so one another example is calcium and chlorine chloride and calcium so calcium is positive chloride is negative okay so atom has two electrons calcium has two electrons in an outermost shell they lose those electrons so it loses two electrons in order to become stable if two atoms of chloride get each gain one of those electrons they become chloride ions the positive and negative ions are then attract to one another forming a molecule of calcium chloride so calcium loses two electrons and chloride gain those two electrons and become ca cl2 calcium chloride okay the becomes calcium chloride which is also a salt a salt is a molecule made of ions other than hydrogen ions or hydroxyl ions salt is made by other than hydrogen ions that is called salt calcium calcium chloride we have sodium chloride we have calcium chloride okay ions with positive charges are called cations so whatever ions would have positive charges we will call is cations like sodium calcium potassium ferrous magnesium ions with negative charge as called anion so which who have negative charges like this we will call anion anions mean negative charge cations mean positive charge like chloride sulfate and sodium bicarbonate these types of compound formed by ionizing bonds are salts acids and bases okay so acids are base uh, base so are discussed later in this chapter okay in the solid state ionic bonds are relatively strong get strong our bonds for example for example contain the salt calcium carbonate which helps give bone its strength however in an aqueous water solution many ionic bonds are weak the bonds may become so weak that the bond ions of a molecule separate creating a solution of free positive and negative ions negative ions for example if sodium chloride is put in water if dissolved in ions the water now contains sodium ions and chloride ions ionization is called dissociation is important to living organism because once dissociated the ions are free to take part in other chemical reaction within the body cells cells in the stomach lining produce hydrochloric acid and must have chloride ions to do so the chloride in sodium chloride would not be free to take part in another reaction 
since it is tightly bound to the sodium atom. However, the chloride ions available form ionized sodium chloride in the cellular water can be used for the synthesis or chemical manufacture of HCl in the stomach. So basically here, here uh, explaining about the ionic bonds, how in the body it will work and uh, how it will help in the body. Basically calcium carbonate, it is an ionic combination of calcium and carbonate okay Hello. so it will give strong and uh, it will benefit our bones okay if this is if this is uh, aqueous solution means if this uh, dissolve in aqueous solution it will become very weak because they are separated because the bonding is separated okay because uh, sodium uh, chloride is separated calcium is separated okay in some cases that if separation by anything is happens so it will attach with other ions and it will make another another thing okay so like uh, we have in our in our in our stomach hydrochloric acid sodium hydrochloride sodium hydrochloride or hydrochloric acid is produced by our our stomach okay so if this uh, sodium and chloride is separated chloride or uh, chlorine ions available and it is laterally used for sodium chloride okay so in some things in some cases, the ionic bonds which are separated by in our body, it will literally use. Okay, so we have to understand these chemical things. We will literally talk talk in about in these things in biochemistry. Now we will talk about covalent bond. Covalent bond involves the sharing of electron between atom. An atom of oxygen given needs two electrons to become stable. It may share two of its electrons with another atom of oxygen. Also sharing oxygen. Together they form a molecule of gas. Which is in the form of oxygen exists in the at atmosphere. Basically, uh, covalent bonds is uh, each element. Oxygen, it may be oxygen. O, O, oxygen. So it will share their each bond each elements okay it will need uh, electrons so may share with each other like we have uh, we need we have uh, like motorcycle we have two tires okay basically i will give one example that there is one motorcycle we have two tires two tires are made up of same material that is one front tire and another is backside tire okay we need same amount of air to travel from on this bike if this is how um, mostly in front tire we need 35 you know, in backside we need 40 so if this is less than this the the bike is not able to ride much quickly so same thing happening here if the same atoms want to bond with each same elements not atom same elements want to bond each other they need stabilization so what we'll do they will exchange the atoms then able to make one bond that is called oxygen o2 so this is a form of a gases so gases is mostly are covalent bonds okay an atom of oxygen may also have shared two of its electrons with two atoms of hydrogen each sharing a single electron together they form a molecule of water so how water is combination of oxygen and hydrogen oxygen is sharing its two electrons of 
to hydrogen so oxygen is sharing two electrons to the hydrogen so this become h2 two hydrogens one oxygen okay so same formula is applicable for every example here uh, here uh, in diagram it is given that this is oxygen this is oxygen so they need stabilization after stabilization they will become o2 okay here also one oxygen two hydrogens okay one oxygen electron is given to the hydrogen and as well as so here water is combined one oxygen one oxygen is given to the give rise to whole combination of h2o okay so this is the example of oxygen and uh, water h2o is the example of covalent bond and uh, ionic bond example is sodium chloride and as well as sodium chloride calcium chloride okay so these are the examples of chemical bonds okay next we have two types of bond that is one is disulfide bonds and hydrogen bonds so we will talk tomorrow about disulfide bond and hydrogen bond okay then afterwards we have inorganic compounds and uh, that later after that we have organic compounds then afterwards our chapter is completed okay so is there any doubts you can able to ask